Outpost is an open source project that allows you to deploy and manage outbound webhook infrastructure. Not just outbound webhook infrastructure, but also the ability to deliver events directly to other types of event destinations. So yes, webhook endpoints, but also via the hookdeck event gateway, AWS SQS, directly to RabbitMQ uh, or GCP PubSub and other destination types. When running and deployed, uh, it has a number of services. So Outpost provides an API service to allow you to create tenants, create destinations, so where events are going to be delivered to, and publish events. You can also publish events by pushing events onto a publish queue that Outpost will read and then deliver. There's a delivery service. So the delivery service uh, delivers events to these event destinations. And there's a logging service, so logging event delivery. There are a number of other, other components within Outpost itself. There's the delivery queue, which can be a RabbitMQ, it can be SQS, it can be GCP PubSub. So we support a number of queue types uh, that it can, Outpost can be deployed with. The same with a logging queue, the events that are delivered to the logging service to then store in, in Postgres. And also Redis as entity storage, so it stores tenants and destinations. So that provides you with an overview of the architecture and what it'll look like when deployed. You can have multiple instances of the API service, the delivery service, and the log service deployed, allowing you to uh, scale both horizontally, but also vertically. So let's look at getting started with Outpost. So we have three quick starts. You can obviously deploy Outpost in, in any way you like, if you understand the architecture and understand the components. But we've got quick starts for Docker, Kubernetes, and Railway. Simplest way to get started is probably with Railway because it's a one-click install. Let's look at getting started. I'll click, you obviously need a, a Railway account. So what this will do, it will deploy Outpost with its three services. It will deploy RabbitMQ as the internal queue between components. It'll install Postgres and deploy Postgres for logging and Redis for uh, the entity storage. I do need to configure one environmental variable, so there's topics. So these are topics that you can subscribe to, but also that you publish events on. There's other configuration options that we won't go into as well. So let's save that config and let's deploy. So again, we've seen what this looks like. We've got Outpost with the three services running, the API service, the delivery service, and the logging service. We've got Redis, we've got RabbitMQ, and we've got Postgres. Now the, the railway template knows that Outpost has dependencies on these other three components. So it's waiting for them to complete deployment before it deploys itself. So that's all of the images deployed. Let's go back to the quick start just to go through. So we've got some topics. Um, we want to verify the installation. So what we'll do now is we will go through this. I'm going to uh, make sure I've got these values set. So I just need to know my URL. So I know this via settings. Here's my public URL. with HTTPS and the tenant that I want to create in this case, you can have multiple tenants, but I'm going to say, uh, in this case, the API key will keep as your API key. And for the, uh, we're going to subscribe, create a, a webhook destination. So for this, we'll use uh, a temporary URL with, um, create a new source. using hooked at console. So as I said, we'll keep the API key as a not very secure, your API key and have that as the URL. So let's go back to the quick start walkthrough. So 
We want to make sure that the services are, are up and running. So we have a, um, a public health endpoint that doesn't require any authentication. So I can curl that. Great, we've got an okay response. Next, we want to create a, um, a tenant. So this was hook deck was the name of, of the tenant, but this could be, you know, any organization unique identifier. Um, as new organizations or new users sign up, they have an organization that they're part of. You create a new tenant within Outpost. So I'm going to try that again, just um, minus V, just to make sure that worked. For one, not, not authorized. So has my API key value bits. Ah, okay, API key value is incorrect. So one of the things I should have done was within Outpost, my settings, uh, variables, my API key was auto-generated. So I'm going to copy that value over here. I want to set my API key. Oops. Prism authentication works. Uh, make that post request again to create the uh, tenant named hook deck or with an ID of hook decks. This time it has successfully created the, uh, the hook deck tenant. Next, we want to create a destination. So this is effectively a subscription. Your users might think of it as a sub subscription. So when an event happens, what type of event? In this case, it's star. So this will be any event. Um, make a post request to this URL. So the URL, remember, was set to the console URL. So that has been created as well. You can see that a secret was automatically assigned. So upon when the developer receives the event, they can check that the payload is from your outpost instance. You can also pass this as configuration if you want, if you want to manage what those secrets are. So with the subscription or destination in place, I can now publish an event. Here I'm going to publish a user created event, but because the destination is subscribed to star, it will also receive this event. So that's been published. Let's check the hook deck console. And we can see that the event was received by the destination. Great. So that's publishing working. The next thing to look at is um, Outpost comes with uh, an inbuilt user portal. And what you can do is you can uh, make a call to the Outpost API to get a signed URL back that you can then give to your users and allow, allow them to manage basically their, their tenancy, their account on Outpost. So here's my redirect URL. Let me open that. We can see we've got one destination created. Going to events, we can see a user created event was sent. We can also check the deliveries. And because this was sent to the Hooktech console, we can see the request was handled by Hooktech. We can also resend events. I can click the, the retry button and go back into the Hooktech console. And I can see that second, second event or the retry of that event has been handled. Within the portal, you can also manage settings. So what topics is that destination subscribed to? You can change the URL, you can rotate the secret, you can disable the destination. I can also create new destinations. In this case, I want to subscribe to all. And I get a choice of these different event destination types, as mentioned, webhooks, but also sending events through the hook tech event gateway, AWS SQS, AWS Kinesis, Azure Service Plus, and Rabbit in queue. So that's an overview of what Outpost is, how to get started with it. In this case, uh, using the railway, one click deploy, creating a tenant, a destination, publishing event, seeing that appear at the destination, and an overview of the 
the user portal that can be used by your customers, your developers on your platform to manage basically um, their tenancy on Outpost.